At some point this week or uh, early next week, Julian Assange is going to be dragged back into court, this time facing extradition first to Sweden. Apparently, Julian Assange has stated that he's not feeling well in prison, so that he wouldn't be able to, so he wouldn't be able to be coherent uh, in his current place, and that he tried to push back the the hearing with Sweden, and uh, Sweden denied him. So, sometime around June third, Julian Assange will be uh, facing the music uh, with Sweden. Now, who is Julian Assange? Right, when we think of Julian Assange, right now. Up until recently, Julian Assange was a was a political football for the mainstream media. Oh, he's so bad. The, all of the American uh, politicians, you know, two, three years ago, calling for his death, calling for his death, right? They, they all said, it. Julie, uh, Hillary Clinton and uh, all, all, all the bad ones said, Julian Assange should be, should be killed for revealing secrets, right? So... But who is what is he what is he actually revealed? Right? Has he has he benefited humanity? Has he benefited you and me and, and, and the guy next door? Absolutely. Right. So so this is an amazing list, right? I'm gonna I'm just gonna rip it off from 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 uh, Lee Camp. Lee Camp, the comic at uh, RT, has um, put together a list of eighteen bullets, right? Eighteen reasons, I think he was saying, the eighteen reasons to to respect Julian Assange, 18 revelations that Julian Assange has revealed to us. So if you want to read along, right, we'll look at the uh, look at the indictment a little bit. <clears throat> because at some, at some point, Julian Assange is going to be coming to the U.S. Maybe, maybe not, if, if they can fend them off. But right now, it's the First Amendment uh, argument, First Amendment case of our lifetime, right? What's on trial is not, is not so much the man, but... But the idea that someone can be tried for publishing information, public, 100% accurate information, which is unprecedented in American history. So if he is indicted, if he is actually, he's already indicted, but anybody can be indicted, by the way, right? You know, it is famously, whoever said it, uh, a, a grand jury can indict a ham sandwich. There's basically prosecutors walking into you know, civilian population of people presenting a case and the grand jury says, yeah, yeah, of course, you know. So it's kind of bullshit. I mean, it's it's highly rigged is what it is. We don't live in a... The problem is we don't have a rule of law anymore. We're, we're, we're rule of people. If the people are important and they say it goes this way, that's what happens. Right? Rule of law is long gone, really, for the most part. So here's, here's some of... Here's the 18 points that... Uh, that the young Lee Camp brings up about Julian Assange, things that that you may not know, right? You may not. You only know of the DNC stuff. But listen to this. So the collateral murder video. You remember showing U.S. aircraft gunning down unarmed uh, Iraqi civilians. They murdered between 12 and 18 people. Two of them Reuters journalists. Zero people have been arrested for the collateral murders. Yet Julian Assange has been arrested for revealing them. The Guantanamo Bay Camp Delta Standard Operating Procedures, showing that many of the prisoners held at, on the U.S. military detention facilities were completely innocent and that some were hidden from Red Cross officials. None of the soldiers tortured, torturing innocent people at Gitmo have been arrested, yet Julian Assange has been arrested for revealing it. In 2008, the secret Bibles of, the, of Scientology, remember that? which showed that aliens, quote, aliens run the world and aliens are inside all of us, unquote. None of the charlatans that perpetuated this hoax, this fraud, and took everybody's money, people that, that signed up for Scientology, have ever been tried or, or, or uh, you know, prosecuted for fraud. Julian Assange is sitting in jail because he revealed it. Here's a couple more, I think it's like five of them. WikiLeaks posted videos of Tibetan descendants in China fighting back. Videos which were not allowed to be viewed by China. Uh, they, he told the Chinese people that the, you know, that the Tibetans were not just leaving, you know, they were not just giving up their land, they were fighting, right? uh, unlike what the Chinese told the people. They revealed the Peru oil scandal and that Russia was spying on its citizens' cell phones. And the Minton, the Minton report on 
toxic dumping in Africa and the Syria files showing that the inner workings of the Syrian government, right? The, right? This is all stuff that he did, right? WikiLeaks displayed to the global audience a secret Australian Supreme Court gag order that stopped the Australian press from reporting on a huge bribery scandal that involved the central bank and international leaders. None of these political figures involved in these scandals, scandals have gone to prison partici who, for participating in them. Yet Julian Assange has for revealing them. Then there was the Iraq war logs. Hundreds of thousands of documents related to America's illegal invasion of Iraq. So far, no one committing the war crimes evident in the Iraq war logs has been locked up. Yet Julian Assange has for revealing them. WikiLeaks showed us the highly sensitive Bilderberg Group meeting reports. The Bilderberg Group uh, is uh, made up of powerful men and women who get together and decide on all kinds of things, how to rule over us. Right? Nobody from the Bilderberg Group is being tortured in solitary confinement right now. Yet Julian Assange is for revealing who they are. And there's the Barclays Bank tax avoidance uh, scheme netted that netted Barclays one billion pounds a year, uh, while it w was ordered to pay 500 million pounds in lost taxes. No one was arrested for the theft from citizens, yet Julian Assange was for revealing it. The Afghan war diaries, consisting of 92,000 documents related to our destruction of Afghanistan, they detailed friendly fire incidences and civilian casualties. According to WikiLeaks, the diary showed that when reporting their own activities, U.S. units are inclined to classify civilian kills as insurgent kills, downplay the number of people killed, or otherwise make excuses for themselves. I am unaware of anyone locked away for these war crimes. Yet Julian Assange is locked away for revealing them. WikiLeaks also revealed hundreds of thousands of U.S. State Department cables that showed more clearly than ever how our secret government rules its empire with little or no input from the American people. Among many other things, the cables revealed Secretary of State Hillary Clinton ordered diplomats to spy on French, British, Russian, and Chinese delegates at the U.N. Security Council. It also showed that Arab nations urged the U.S. to strike Iran and much more. For all that was, was unveiled in the State Department cables, no one has been locked up, but Julian Assange has for revealing it. The uh, uh, Stratfor emails. Uh, this was millions of emails that showed how a private intelligence agency was used by its U.S. corporate and government clients to target activists and protesters. No one at Stratfor is currently locked away, but Julian Assange is for telling the truth about it. The trade deals, the disastrous trade deals, TPP, TISA, and TTIP, all three amounted to one of the biggest attempts at corporate takeover ever conceived. Government officials and corporate lawyers and lobbyists wrote every word in private. Not even Congress saw the TTP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, until very late in the process. The only organization to show American and European citizens some of those documents before they were made into law was WikiLeaks. None of those secret corporate tyrants, uh, ty uh, titans, are imprisoned for their attempted power grab. Yet Julian Assange is for revealing it. Right, we knew some of TPP, we knew some of what it was, but the, the WikiLeaks dump showed us the full extent and full breadth and basically brought it to a screeching halt. It's amazing, right? Amazingly powerful, powerful stuff right? that, that, that this, uh, this gentleman and his organization, his publishing organization, his publication have revealed to us. And f also, the, of course, the DNC emails. The Democratic National Committee emails gave us proof concerning just how rigged the Democratic primaries really are. They proved the media was in bed with Hillary Clinton's campaign. They even showed that Obama's entire first-term cabinet was selected by Citibank. After being sued over this matter, DNC lawyers admitted in court, that was the DNC fraud lawsuit, they admitted in court that the DNC has no obligation to have, have fair primary elections. It's their right to rig it. 
Right? That was that was uh, Jared Beck and Elizabeth Beck's uh, the DNC fraud lawsuit. Right? And they, that's where they got them to admit it. Right? That they they the DNC admitted in open court that we rigged the elections and we could smoke cigars in back rooms and pick the candidate. But people still think that that the primary is a real election. Now I've I've said it. I don't know. Look back in the videos. Probably you know eight hundred times already that the elections are rigged. But you know again we have to. WikiLeaks was was one of the was very very instrumental in 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 showing us that. And finally, in 2017, WikiLeaks posted a trove of CIA documents called the Vault Seven. It detailed their capacities, including remotely taking over cars, smart TVs, web browsers, and smartphones, all of course without our consent. So, that's who Julian Assange is, despite what the mainstream media may tell you, and. And and some some jerks on a on a on a Japanese chat board say that Julian Assange is a spy. He's a CIA asset. He's a he's a he's a spook. He's uh you know he's working for the Democrats. He's working for the Republicans. Look, he's he's just it's just it's it's crazy and it's it's um it's insulting when you you know when I hear it anyway. So so anyway, here's the here's the fake. The fake allegations against Julian Assange. You can stack this with the fake Mueller report that that insinuates twelve Russians hacked the DNC and gave the gave the information to WikiLeaks. Why don't you ask the guy? Why don't you ask the publisher who gave him the the he they already have and he's told you a hundred times that it wasn't the Russian Russian assets. It was it was a dump. He knows who did it, right? But here we are. Stamped May twenty third. Oh, so official, so professional, right? A a a a grand jury indictment in the in the state of Virginia. Wow, how mm, smell how legal it is. How how professional it is. Right? It's all fucking bullshit. Right? This is a bullshit document to drag Julian Assange into court for for quote assisting someone in cracking a password for encouraging someone to reveal the truth. Chelsea Manning, uh, 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 tired eyes never run dry. Curious eyes, excuse me. Curious eyes never run dry, in my opinion, said Julian Assange to, to uh, Chelsea Manning, right? Being prosecuted first for allegedly fudging a password. That was one count. And they added on 17 other ones for conspiracy to encourage someone to reveal the truth, solicitation of truthful information. And that is his crime. That is his crime. Right? And those are the revelations of, of Julian Assange. So, so when someone talks down to you about Julian Assange and said, oh, that guy's, that guy's a kook and he's crazy and, and, and you know, he's, he's, a, he's an albino, or whatever other stories they're going to try to say. You know, when, when the president of the United States says, I love WikiLeaks, 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 I love WikiLeaks. Right? And then, and then when, when WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, uh, you know, he's not useful anymore, the president says, well, I don't know, wow, WikiLeaks, I don't know. What? Ju- yeah, I don't know. It's not my thing. I don't know anything about it. I don't know. I don't know. Right? Then, right, when you see that sort of activity, you just turn your fucking cheek and say, Say so we're living in, you know, we're, we're not we're not living in rule of law anymore. It's not rule of law. This document, this indictment, is is rule of man. It's 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 a piece of fiction. It's a work of fiction. It's it's seven eighteen counts of pure unequivocal bullshit based on the predicate, the false predicate that Russia, Russians. <laughs> Stole the DNC emails and gave it to, gave it to uh, Assange. But that's really not what the what the lawsuit is about. It's about Ju- It's about Chelsea Manning handing over information that he that she stole. He stole at the time as a military operative, right? And gave to the publisher to publish the material. Chelsea Manning guilty of, as charged and has been commuted. By Barack Obama, but uh, Julian Assange, no, they want him. They want him. This is the country we're living in. We're living in, you know, in in. Do you think that one, if if the if the United States government can get a an espionage charge uh, 
charged against a publisher for publishing truthful information that they're not going to they're not going to crush the internet. They're not going to come after Facebook and and YouTube and every other every other free medium. They're going to come right into the right into the public square and and shut people down. And that's what Julian Assange represents. So when you hear people talking about it, fight for the guy. You know, stand up and say, "Hey, listen, man, I, I don't know, man, I don't know much about what's going on, but I know." I know free speech and free press in this country is very important. And without it, we're all, you know, sort of doomed. Marcus Conti reporting. Uh, kindly become a Patreon, blah, blah, blah. Here's the link. And don't forget to subscribe. Marcus Conti reporting.